I am in the midst of redoing my room, basically my studio is how I like to call it. Um, and I want part of it to be art focused where I do my painting and my drawings, things like that. And then the other part, I want it to be focused on just makeup and have a part of it be my studio, which is when I do my trials and my like one-off clients. So in the midst of doing all that, I found a bag full of stuff that I have not touched in a long time. And I'm pretty much like purging a lot of makeup and once again, we're doing a makeup declutter. <laughs> I'm gonna do it really fast. I'm not, this isn't gonna be like a review of all items, but I'll talk about them. So we'll see what happens. It's being, it's a bag full of stuff. Oh, it's a lot, right? I know, okay, first off is this. This is a, a bronzer that I used to love from L'Oreal. The color throughout the years, to me, it changed from what I thought it was. And it's so much product. Um, I have a brand new one that's in the packaging still, but this one is just like so old since it's been open and used. So I'm just gonna, toss it next is this infallible powder i wanted this to be um like the studio actually let me see if it is like the studio fix powder um i guess it is mm -hmm. maybe i'll you see like this is what happens when i okay i'm gonna reuse this i'm gonna use this in my powder foundation routine yeah that's actually a good one i don't know i haven't really vis visited that one in a while <laughs> this is definitely used up this is a um nyx pencil brow pencil from NYX and it's their color in ash brown. I love this one. I've recently changed to this kind of formula, which is like their little liquid pens. I love this one. I don't love the color as much. Actually, I think the color in this guy is a little bit more true to ash brown than this one. This pencil almost feels a little bit warmer, but it's so easy to use and I still own it. I still love to use it. Next is this Epic Ink Liner. This was a great one in my kit when we used to kind of do that in the kits. Um, ever since the pandemic and things like that I, like the whole dipping and reusing and alcohol stuff is like a, a no-no i used to use this on a palette and do it but now i'm just kind of like let me just get rid of it i like this in my personal collection i just didn't like that it wasn't matte all the way i like the applicator but i don't like the way the formula um okay next is this this is um the nudies do these actually i think they I have to double check if they are collecting these guys almost like a back to back situation from um, nude sticks. But this is their like it's basically their blur stick foundation type thing. It's in the color medium seven. I like this one for bronzer all over the face. It's so rich. It's so creamy. And I really, really like the way this performed. I actually bought a second one. The only thing is I will I will say is that like when you pop it off, sometimes the actual product kind of like pop off with it, which is we which is very annoying. Um, but there was so much product in here that I actually repackaged it into this guy, and I kind of dip my brush in there and use it. So it's a really really great product for bronzing if you have a similar skin tone to me. I'm, I guess I would be more like a medium five or medium six depending. So the medium seven is a great bronzer for that. Okay, old products that I just really need to get rid of was this um, Wet n Wild Sandstorm. It was one of my favorite lipsticks, but I, it's so old, so old. Um, Stila Liquid Lipstick and Aria, Stila Liquid Lipstick and Patina, old, old, but I love them. I believe one of them is discontinued. I think Aria was discontinued. Wait, why is this here? Hold on, see, sometimes I'm just like, what? Oh, the texture totally changed. Okay, so this is a ColourPop eyeshadow in, a Super Sock shadow in the color Party of Five. I really liked this color. It's kind of just like this very easy wearable all over the lid color, except um, the texture of it totally changed because again, I hadn't used it in a long time. So this has got to go. Same deal with this Anastasia honey cream color. I used to try to use it in my, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna try to use this as a primer. It's actually, it has still a lot of creaminess to it. Okay, this is what happens. I keep that product. <laughs> this is this one. This is a ColourPop concealer. I, I believe this was in the color 40. I don't know why I have so many colors in this. Oh, I know. I remember buying them online and I bought like five because I didn't know the color range. It was so difficult to figure out. Um, 40 was more like my foundation color. Anyways, this is so old, so I got rid of it. But um, I think they have like new versions of their concealers nowadays. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do. Okay, next is this guy, this liquid NYX suede, um, NYX liquid lip suede in soft spoken. They have a lip liner in soft spoken, which is a really great color. This color I love. It's like a neutral, rosy, mauvey 
my lips but better type of color the texture is nice and comfortable i do have a backup of it so um i did like that but that one was old next is this anastasia brow um product it just broke off i don't know i got this for gratis when i um freelanced for them this is the black i believe it's black radiance if i'm not mistaken black liquid li uh, eyeliner this was like in a waterproof formula i love this one in my kit actually there's like so many great high end i remember makeup forever had one and i owned it in my kit and it was just very blah this one for some reason it just stayed so so um matte it stayed on the eyes so well and i loved it the i mean i didn't like it in, for like a personal use um but it dried out on me I, i've since bought it back up but it was easy to kind of just like tap it on the spatula and use it and it was just so so black didn't budge it was a great product next is this um hydra matte emulsion i just used it all up actually um i restocked it in my kit i do have like a little section in my um closet now kind of like re-upping like where there's like back stock so to speak where i'm re-upping my kit and this was like a product that was in there i've i already have another version of this or actually a, another one of that one um so that's in there okay next it was the personal use this was um lash stiletto i actually like this mascara a lot it has it left my lashes very individualized um not very full but I really liked it when I used to use those lash serums um, and I'm still nursing so I don't get to, I can't, you know, put that stuff in my body quite yet. But once I do, what's going in? Um, but this was a really great mascara for like individually uh, individualizing my lashes and just making them look super, super long. I like the, that mascara a lot. Next is this one's kind of like a, ooh, I, I hate that it went bad. It's Stroke Cream from MAC. It smells bad, so this is another thing that went bad oh my god i had this for a very long time way back in the day way back in the day in my instagram i participated in a sephora i don't know if it was a sephora maybe it was a, i don't know okay it was a makeup competition and you won a 50 dollar gift card to sephora and i remember winning because i got more votes but the people who were like holding the competition counted the votes well after midnight and i was like well fuck i had all my people stop voting like I, at midnight i was the winner and i wrote them and then they gave me the gift card so i was like yeah fuckers like follow the rules anyways so but i won and it was a great competition i so anyways with the gift card i bought this because i was so so like just i was hooked i wanted this i wanted all i did play with it a ton but it's been years and it smells bad so that kind of sucks that it's 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 gone it's come to that <laughs> next is this giga black lash mascara mascara um, oh, do I have this in Google Black? Yeah. This is almost like a tubey mascara. It disintegrates when you put warm water in between your fingers and you kind of disintegrate the, the mascara. It's so nice when you're just wearing top lashes or even like false um, extensions and things like that. This is a great one for the bottom because you can look like they actually match your top and bottoms, but then you can take some warm water, kind of massage them, and it goes away i used to not be like a firm believer in this kind of deal i just thought it was like overly hyped but then when it came to more like the function of it it's when i was like okay i really like it i had this for a long time and um it's i, I it was so long where i was like this needs to go and it was almost dried out but it's still and it still worked so now i got i got myself a backup that was like a first mac purchase like full price that i, I think i've ever done because i always had a pro card i had to figure out how to get that pro discount again this is this nyx faux black eyeliner it's in burnt sienna it dried out on me it was pretty though this is a roll-on shimmer eyeshadow this actually i'm going to give away to my little sisters this is a it's a cool product it's just a very subtle glitter um i really liked it but it's just one of those products that like i've had so long it's kind of like lost its excitement to me so i'm getting rid of that and i'm actually sharing that with my sisters because i think they'll like it it's really it's really actually really cute um next is this nyx or i'm sorry this is a milani matte naked this is just so old it smells good still but it's just so it's too old um the next one is this tarte pro glow so this one i wanted to like i actually kept it in my kit trying to use it i never got myself to use it because it was so so shiny um, it has a like it has a space somewhere I don't know exactly where in a routine but not my routine so I think I'm actually gonna send this uh, over to my little sisters they might like that why is this here 
oh it dried out okay this pixie eyeliner these are amazing and i'm surprised i even let this one go bad actually this was probably one in my kit um and sometimes the, the ones in my kit because they don't get used as often it goes bad what i like about these in my kit is i can kind of break off a piece on like um, one of those little silicone palettes or even a steel palette and almost use it like an emollient cream um but in a personal level i love these they're so creamy they have really rich color payoff and they're comfortable and they last a really nice long time but i'm kind of bummed that one actually did not last in terms of um my collection i think it was because it was my kit next is dark golden okay i have to remember this dark golden this is a great kind of like bronzy transition color um if you are kind of like my skin tone so uh, help me if you guys are, understand this kind of terminology um you know how you have like a transition color on your eyeshadow i liked having a transition on my face as opposed to having just like a stark bronzer um i wanted something that kind of melted into that stark bronzer so that's what this was for i loved it so much and um i was going to repurchase it at ulta because you know how they have mac and ulta now but they had nothing in stock. I'm talking like nothing in stock. So that was really freaking annoying, but whatever. Next is this Delicates. This is a limited edition product. It's kind of gotten all of its use. Um, I already have a backup of it because it's in my kit and I use it. I bought so many of these. I bought these ones at a CCO and I went back like soon after to get more of these because this color is almost like a transition that I love so much. So this is going to back to Mac, but that was a great product. Next are these um, products from MAC. This is a fast response eye cream. I didn't think that this worked any like any miracles on any clients, to be honest. I tried to see it on myself or when I was like particularly um, hurting in terms of like my skin not looking the best, I would try to see if it made a difference. It didn't really make a difference. This, however, the lip conditioner, I actually repackaged this in a little tube so I can squeeze it out much easier. This stuff is awesome. I used to, when I freelanced at MAC, there was hardly any products that I would push. This was one that I was like, this is good. Like in terms of their skincare line, I didn't really have any kind of connection towards any of them. I didn't really feel like any of them were particularly amazing, but this was one that I over and over had uh, customers purchase because the way I talked about it was like, it's soft, it's creamy. It's It does what Carmex can't do. It does what um, agave lip bite can't do like it really really does like nourish the lips so so well and it smells really good so that one i i um only repackaged that one so that's the only reason why it's empty why is this here see my little see this is what gets me a little see that little scratchy poo that's mia my little daughter did this okay this is not supposed to be here i love this product um that's an uninterrupted by mac it's an eyeshadow this is a mascara I go through these in my kit and in my personal collection often and always. So this is already been back to my, or repurchased. Um, this is a glitter primer. I don't really use this stuff. Actually, I might give this to my little sister. I don't know if this even works. I, you know, I bought it and I never played with it. It's so old. I just don't even think it's worth sharing that. Oh, another color pop. And the other last two are these um, from Frida Kahlo. These are, they had these random like they had a random cap band one time at a cvs like two halloweens ago <laughs> i know and this was there and i were going well shit i fucking love rita kayla actually i was her that year i'm pretty sure and i bought these they were just okay this color was actually really pretty but they're so old and i never really used them this color i really didn't like but you couldn't tell because the colors were like this and they were closed but this was like this really weird like i don't even know what kind of 90s color it is i didn't like that um so yeah, those are just old and I shouldn't have that. That's all of my empties. Actually, I'm really happy I went through that because it just kind of gives me a little bit of a boost to finish this whole beauty room. It's it's very, very, oof, it's very unpolished, very finished, but eventually it will look like a studio and I am so excited to actually play in it. Um, just so you guys are aware, this is on my lips. This is a Mana uh kadar beauty simplified liquid lipstick in the color oh no it's a liquid uh lip whip in the color faith i had this it's pretty much a liquid lipstick and i paired it with this elf um sheer stick which are beautiful these sheer sticks are really nice 
This color in particular has like a really nice orangey kind of pumpkin spice look to it. I actually really like this one by itself. So that's why I paired it to just feel more comfortable and it actually is sitting really nicely. Hopefully I'm going to get this situated soon and I'll be able to film some more for you guys. But until then, I will see you later. Bye.